Good day, learners. So, on the previous topics, you were asked to solve for right triangles. Now, what if you were asked to solve for oblique triangles? Meaning, there are obtuse and acute angles. So, in this case, you cannot use the concept of Pythagorean theorem or the Sokatoa. Because Sokatoa and Pythagorean theorem are only applicable on the right triangles. So, what if you were given oblique triangles. So we have this what we call the law of sines or the sine law. So what is the sine law? So the law of sines is the relationship between the sides and the angles of an oblique triangle. Once again, oblique triangles are any triangle which could have obtuse or acute angles. Basta any non-right triangles is considered as oblique triangles. Now, if this is um, oblique triangle ABC, we all know that these capital letters denote the angles. So if this is the angle A, the corresponding side or the opposite side would be the side A, denoted by small letter A. If this is angle B, the corresponding side would be side B. And if this is angle C, this would be side C. Once again, the sides would be denoted by small letters, which are A, B, and C. Now, the law of sine states that side A over sine of angle A is equal to side B over the sine of angle B, which is also equal to side C over sine of angle C. So how are we going to apply this if we were asked to solve for the angles and the sides of an oblique triangle? Let's take this an example. For example, angle A measures 70 degrees and angle B measures 45 degrees. And you were given one side and that is side A which measures 40 units. Once again, you were given two angles and one side. So just like the previous discussions, if you were given two angles already, since the total measure of uh, the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees, okay, so you just have to subtract these two angles from 180 degrees for us to get the measure of angle C. So the measure of angle C is just 180 degrees minus 70 degrees minus 45 degrees and that would be equal to 65 degrees. Yeah, you got it right? So we already found out the measure of the other angle which is angle C which is 65 degrees. So we are done with the angles. We may now look for the other sides. So since angle of side A is already given, we may look for side B. So once again, given an angle A and the corresponding side A. So we may use this. Basta merong dalawang parehong given, isang side, isang angle, automatically kasama na siya sa gagawin yung uh, solution. Angle A and side A are both given. Now, ano pa isang given? Angle B, before we found out the measure of angle C, all angle B is already given. So, angle B is already given, so we may look for side B. So, sa law of signs, pwede hindi lahat yan gamitin. Dalawa lang muna, okay? So, we may use this. Side A is equal to sine of angle A equals side B over the measure of sine of angle B. Once again, given an sine A. So that's 40 degrees. So basically, it's just a matter of substitution over sine of angle 70. Sine 70 degrees equals the measure of sine B. Since we are looking for it, you can just write B. That's what we are looking for. Over the measure of sine of angle B, so that's 
sine 45 degrees. Again and again, if there is an unknown value just like this, you may cross multiply. Okay, as simple as that. When you cross multiply, so that would be B times sine 70 degrees. B times sine 70 degrees equals 40 times sine 45 degrees. Alright now, since we are just after the value or the measure of sine B, we have to eliminate sine 70 degrees. So how are we going to eliminate? Just divide both sides or multiply both sides by 70 degrees. Divide both sides by sine 70 degrees. So this would be eliminated. So B is equal to, using your calculators, again, your calculators must be in degree mode. So it should be 40 times sine 45 degrees. So you're going to get this divided by sine 70 degrees equals your answer would be 30.0994 or it could be um, rounded off two decimal places so 30.10 or 30.1 so this is now B, 30.10. Alright now, so we have already found out angle C, which is 65 degrees, side B, which is 30.1 units. So the only thing which has to be found out is the measure of side C. Now since we have already found out its corresponding angle, we can easily find the corresponding side. So once again, we are going to use angle A and side A because they are both given already. So again, that's A over sine of angle A equals, now we are going to use this because we are after the value of C or the value of the measure of side C. So that's side C over sine of angle C. Once again, we do it. Side A is 40 units over sine 70 degrees equals side C, that's what we are looking for, over sine of, what's the measure of angle C? 65 degrees. Okay. You may just cross multiply just like what we did on the first uh, measure B, so that's C times Sine 70 degrees equals 40 times sine 65 degrees. Alright? Once again, for us to get the measure of C, you divide both sides by sine 70 degrees for us to eliminate this. So C is just 40 times sine 65 degrees over sine 70 degrees. So what is now the measure of side C? So it's just 40 times sine 65 degrees. You are going to get 36.2523 and so on. Over, over sine 70 degrees. And you are going to get 38.58. Units. So this is now the measure of side C. Thirty-eight point fifty-eight units. So that's it. We have already found out the measure of all the sides and all of the angles using the law of sines. So once again, I'm going to give you an activity. So suppose you are given again oblique triangle ABC, given the measures of angles B and C. 40 degrees and 61 degrees respectively with side C which measures 12. Now use the law of signs for you to find the measure of the other two sides, side B and side A as well as the measure of angle A. 
So that's it for today. I hope you would find time to answer this activity and may this Holy Week be uh, worthwhile, be a time of reflection and let us keep the faith. May God bless us.